The shock of surviving and disbelief at the devastation. The pain of losing a lifetime of hard work in a matter of seconds. It was shortly after midnight when the missile hit the quiet street in Dnipro, ripping apart homes and lives. A family of four were all killed instantly. Jana picked up a picture from the rubble, a memory of neighbors gone too early. They first found Ala, the grandmother, then the mother and her daughter, and they had to search the rubble for the son. We had fragments of a couch on our roof and there were human remains burnt on it. I wasn't injured, but I am scared. Now each air siren will remind me of this. I will be scared each time it goes off. It's not clear yet what kind of missile hit, but it left a crater 10 meters deep. Just a day ago, a family home stood here. Four houses have been flattened and another 60 damaged. This is a residential neighborhood. We don't see any military presence in the area, nor is there any kind of infrastructure that could have been targeted. People are worried because of recent, the number of airstrikes has increased. Another airstrike targeted the bus station a few meters away from the central train station. There were also strikes in Kharkiv in the northeast and several southern cities, including Krivilich, the hometown of President Vladimir Zelensky. Andrei's 80-year-old mother was alone. He also can't believe she survived. He's a surgeon treating the wounded of this war. We live at a time when anything can happen, but after this, nothing can scare us. What can be worse than your mother in such danger in the middle of the night? We have all to lose if there's a nuclear attack, but we're just average people. We have no choice. President Zelensky held an emergency meeting with his security and defense cabinet. The country is holding its breath as Russia goes ahead with its plans to annex parts of Ukraine. Hamid Al Jazeera, Dnipro.